Hello everyone, welcome back to part 3 and the conclusion of a replay between Boshu EX, oh, Bosu Hei EX and um, TRH here on Ancient Isle 2 right now. Pandarian Brewmaster at level 4, Warden at level 5 against a level 4 Death Knight and a level 4 Lich. Right now Boshu EX really pushing through and really doing a good job on that last fight. That last fight really went in favor for Boshu EX right now. And if the Death Knight is able to um, creep out this particular creep camp, it will really give him a, a really strong advantage right now. And um, as the units can Continuing the fight, Death Knight very very low on hit points, Lich taking a beating as well, Tome of Knowledge being uh, being dropped, so no Tome of Experience, Rune Bracer is being um, dropped down, so the Death Knight may give that to that Lich, as the Lich um, probably going to take a lot of Shadow Strike, and um, as the game goes on right now, we have Obsidian Statues, but, um, the, a Meat Wagon completely full, and that Warden is invisible, oh, Death Strike on that, uh, once again that Frostworm, but, ooh, Frost Nova, once again, wow, where that, um, that, Warden is just running around the map and just keeping a good tabs right now. I don't see a shade in the army of Boshu EX, so he, he did have to he did have to reveal himself. Obsidian statue getting a little bit trailed behind right now. Three hippogriffs up in the air, no upgrades for TRH. So I think the real advantage right now goes back to Bosu Hei EX as he has a 2-0 upgrade on his um skeletons. Those skeletons with that 2-0 upgrade are definitely um, starting to uh, throw a kink in the works of TRH's army. There I don't see any additional whips right now and and the armies have been mined out or the mi gold mines have been mined out now so Bosu Hei EX sitting on 1130 gold and does not have much much more we have necro and um, what we have more skeletal minions now trying to come in skeletal minions trying to push into the ancient of wonders right now TRH sitting at 400 over 400 is going to have to walk into a new position and we have what a pandering brewmaster level 4 and that and um, warden at level 5 Death Knight may get to level 5, and if that Death Knight gets to level 5, that's going to be very, very strong for Bosu Hei EX. Also getting a Pendant of Energy. That Pendant of Energy is going to come in really handy for all those additional Death Coils. Oh, just 12 experience shy of getting over to level 5 right now. Going to grab that Manual of Health as the units continue to try to do some creeping right now. Chimera up in the air, a lot of bears, a little bit surprised that I don't see any destroyers at this point. Those necromancers are completely full, um, and, and those meat wagons are completely full as well, so not quite sure what both of these players are waiting for. Obsidian Statue once again moving back up to the north side. No additional creeps anywhere on the map, and we're going to have what I believe to be a very important fight now coming in, that Warden trying to come in. Warden getting a blink off and getting a shadow strike down on that, um, that frost room trying to continue to push in and the uh, warden desperately trying to run back away roar being casted on those judens a breath of fire no just trying to take down those skeletal minions just feeding some experience right now and as the armies continue to push back out and not much really happening nice frost nova on those hippogriffs once more slowing them down and now trying to go after that druid of the claw no that druid of the claw and um, that shade just acting as a good scout right there getting a breath of fire off on all those skeletal minions and now that and um, pandurian brewmaster has to be staff of preservation to get back out of there and we have a gold mine being entangled by the tree of eternity right now and Bosu Hei EX does know about it, but if there's any, if he can do something about it, it's just a different story right now. Level 5 on that Death Knight by taking down a single Wisp. That's really, really bad news right now for, for um, TRH's army. Currently, I do not see a Shade moving anywhere around that map. Low hit point, um, and now we have some Skeletons now trying to come in, trying to take down those uh, Null Brute right there. Just probably, perhaps to get some additional gold at this point. No real reason to. Wisp now entangling this gold mine, so TRH not capitalizing on the fact that there are no additional expansions and now that warden and getting a couple hits off on that obsidian statue able to try to run back away once more warden wants to come in warden getting a shadow strike off on that banshee that banshee low on hit points not quite sure tome of agility plus two being left behind and oh nice anti-magic shell being used on that banshee in order to counteract the, the effects of that um, the de damage over time and a Sobi mass being left behind by that Death Knight for that Death Knight so that Death Knight very very strong right now uh, and now we just have that Warden continuing to try to move away Banshee very low on hit points gonna drop uh, he's gonna take down the last skeleton and that Banshee able to survive at 47 hit points as they continue to move out once more Etern Tree of Eternity fully saturating this gold mine not quite sure what T or Bosu Hei EX is really waiting for the longer the game goes the worse it's gonna be for him as he as he realizes that he's not really mining out of anything, grabbing that last tome of knowledge that was left behind earlier. We have a gold mine currently being ha haunted right now, but still.
still not quite sure what the strategy is going to be. We have um, Lich now trying to move out. Let's see what's going to be happening. We have a lot of Hippogriffs up in the air, and we also have Fairy Dragons. Fairy Dragons a good counter to those Necromancers. Let's see if it's really going to uh, make a difference as the Hippogriffs try to run around the map just a little bit more. Shade has obviously seen that single Fairy Dragon, so knows about it alre already. And now, and now, a lot of anti-magic shell being casted. A lot of anti-magic shell. So um, those death strikes and those those death strikes and those breath of fires will not be able to hit any of those units. Banshee sitting on, on a good amount of mana, so we'll be able to get some additional excuse me, additional anti-magic shells on those units as well, as the armies are just trying, TRH is just trying to figure out where he's getting pushed in from. Now, an um, anti-magic shell coming in, Warden trying to come in as well, and Frostworm going to come in, no, no units coming in, both units just trying to figure out when they can get an advantage right there, trying to take down those Kobold Mancers. Kobold Mancer goes down, Toma Strength uh, being picked up by that Death Knight, and more units being coming in as well, so skeletons now being produced, a lot of skeletons coming in, trying to take down this Tree of Eternity. Um, let's see if any wisp come out of that gold mine to start doing some detonation on these units right now and if they comes in and starts doing yeah detonate takes out a lot of those units lich sitting at level four and now here comes that main army once again as are we going to get a, a, another frost nova uh, trying to focus down that one frost room that frost room already down to half life is going to go down to that focus fire really quickly down it goes but now all those hippogriffs pretty much have nothing else that they can hit at this point and more and what more uh, attacking from those chimeras chimeras coming in trh i think has just had too much time to rebuild his army and even though with all those skeletons he's fighting too close to this gold mine and trh will be able to come in detonate using those wisps to take down those skeletal minions yeah and now just detonating the rest of that skeleton army and right now i think the pandarian brewmaster did level yeah level at level five right now so level three breath of fire in play a lot of low hit point bears though i don't know where those oh those bears are possessed so bosu hey ex able to possess a couple bears and pull them out of this fight so trh is pretty much not quite sure what to do anymore those hippogriffs are up in the air not they can't really do anything druid of the claw trying to get some rejuvenations off and trying to save some of that you know one druid of the claw gonna go down to that shadow strike right now but still well i'll too much heavily invested into those hippogriffs and those hippogriffs are, are just pretty much useless at this point not quite sure what they can really do level six on the um level six on the um the warden though so the warden is going to be able to drop an avatar of vengeance in just a little bit death knight sitting at level five trying to run around and able to push back the rest of these army single bear very very low on hit points should probably try to pull back out um, pandurian brewmaster low on hit points is able to escape and this tree is going to go down Wow, so Necro Wagon is completely completely working right now, and those Rune Bracers really um, preventing the um, the Warden from being able to take him down right now. But right, Avatar of Vengeance, oh, not enough mana for Avatar of Vengeance. That, that Warden should have transferred the uh, Staff of Preservation to the Panda and then tried to teleport in and then use that Avatar of Vengeance to try to use some of that, some of those skeletons, or use uh, try to use up those skeletons. Yes, Warden now coming in does have enough. Let's see if, he, if she's going to summon the Avatar of Vengeance, if, if that will be enough right now. More O's, oh, and, and the Lich getting a lot of mana using that, um, using that, um, the sacrifice. And ooh, Pandurian Brewmaster down to 66 hit points, taking a Death Coil and a Frost Nova. Pandurian Brewmaster desperately trying to run away. Warden very low on hit points. Ancient of Lore is now trying to fight with that rest of the army. Shadow Strike on that last Necromancer. Down, it's going to go. And now that Warden desper desperately trying to run, run back away. That single bear is still continuing the fight. And that war and that ancient of lore is still going down. That we do have a fully haunted gold mine, but we have a bear over here. So TRH finishing off the acolytes over here. So that gold mine is not going to have very much in it at this point. We have a single a single banshee, but that's probably going to try to possess that one bear over there. Very very low hit point warden continuing to fight back, getting the shadow strike off on that bear and trying to blink away, able to blink away at 191 hit points right now. Druid of the Claw should probably turn back into druid form, try to rejuvenate himself and continue to go on right now that one bear is going to be possessed though in just a second and i think that's gonna, just going to be insult to injury is he going to possess yes going to possess that single bear and that bear is going to be taken and tr and bosu bosu hey ex grabbing another bear that warden now going to have to fight that one bear staff of preser uh, staff of teleportation being used lich and um, lich teleporting in and that warden is being forced to run back away is he going to try to buy a potion of invulnerability? Not quite sure. Pandurian Brewmaster still close by. One bear is trying to sell some items. Potion of invulnerability on that warden. Warden continue to move around. Down goes the, down goes that last uh, Pandurian Brewmaster. And a fight between the Lich and the warden. And that Lich, very, very low on hit points, is going to desperately try to run away. A rejuvenation being used. And wow. 
GRH losing that game due to possession. So I hope you guys enjoyed that game. That was a great game between um, Bosu Hey EX and TRH here on Ancient Isle 2. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you guys on Battle.net. And also go ahead and check out um, StarCraft Legacy. Um, I've just posted my article up um, reviewing uh, like uh, just an editorial on the current StarCraft 2 units as we know it from the closed alpha and what's been released. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening once again.